So yesterday there was a new build for, from Microsoft for desktops and as well mobile, but like usual mobile doesn't get any new features at the moment. So let's just jump in and the build with the number 16226 and uh, there is actually pretty improvements and also new additions, new changes. I'm not gonna mention them all of course, uh, but Microsoft is, ge is getting the new like neon adaptive design whatever it's called these days uh, it, they are getting it more and more it's still not perfect because in a lot of spots it's still not uh, there which it should but for example here you can see it if when I scroll with the mouse you can see it under this square it's not so visible uh, as well when you open the settings for example you op when you open the settings it's as well here but in the white team it's not visible which this is the problem, so if I need to go and change personalization, uh, colors, and I need to change to the dark team, and in the dark team, when I scroll with the mouse, uh, you can see it there already, and it's with, in dark team it's visible, so in the black it's more visible here, but it's still not that visible, at least here in the notification center, which here it's pretty visible, and as well I think this change should come for for example in the in the apps when you open the menu it should come here probably it should come here as well like in these settings which is not at least i can see it it's, it's not there which it should be because if it's in these these settings then it should be overall in most of the settings uh, but anyway that's maybe that's my opinion and i might be wrong uh, because of that um, there was also an addition uh, in the that in the taskbar which many people are, were asking for it and even me sometimes I was thinking don't bring this feature to the task manager which is in performance the GPU info until now you had only CPU, memory, disk you had no GPU info which uh, I never understood why they never brought the GPU info to the task manager for example if I'm gonna you see here performance it doesn't show let's bring here as well performance so this is uh, the new build and this is the normal build so you can see uh, I mean it's still the same but there is no GPU info in the official build which the GPU is always used when you're gaming for example and sometimes you might want to see what's your uh, usage what's your GPU usage so this is a very good addition in my opinion they changed a bit in the edge browser some stuff uh, they added also, for example, I don't really have now at the moment. Let's uh, let's see uh, settings, show favorite bar. I don't have any favorites. Let's uh, add YouTube, for example. So let's add this uh, YouTube, add to the favorites, add it to favorites, and now you can right click and edit URL. Until now, you couldn't edit URL so if you for example if the URL of that favorite website that you have if it was for example changed or if it was wrong you couldn't do nothing unless you like remove it and then favorite it again but now you can uh, just edit URL and then type whatever you want uh, type as well okay. no it was into smartphones I think if I press enter let's try to open yeah, and it opens to my uh, channel. Let's bring a new text document. Uh, with the emojis, they also mentioned that uh, they added the new emojis 5.0. For me, at least, it's like Windows keys, Windows plus this key. This is the. This is for me. This is how I open them. So I press Windows and this, and it opens the emojis. And here, when you are document text and you open the emojis, whatever you will type, angry, for example. Uh, it will still stay on the document text even if I, if I press on the emoji then it will put the emoji but if I press if I uh, type something um, house house and I don't select the emoji and I uh, press space and close this close the emojis then what I typed it will stay there so I don't know if that's good or bad but yeah that, this is how it works but anyway, this is mostly the changes that like visual changes. Others there are like many bug fixes, many uh, new implementations. For example, uh, the keyboard. I showed you the keyboard. Can I open it? Yeah, I showed you the keyboard in my previous video, so I didn't want to mention it. But this is like another implementation when 
now here you can see it, it has a different icon when you press on it this is more arranged now uh, which previously it was also fine but it wasn't like this it was only this ones i think this one was different i uh, i don't remember seeing them like this like these are new additions which they are pretty small and not worth to mention them in the video of course as well i forgot uh, the xbox uh, changes um, let's go into gaming and you have now xbox networking which is not really xbox i think it should be like maybe game networking because this is a pc it's not an xbox so you can see here it shows me uh, my latency it's 168 milliseconds yes it's like from between me and xbox services if you have any problem with the networking then you have the button to fix it and not type moderate which in some cases it might be restricted because of your modem yeah this is also what some people were asking to add uh, this new uh, this new option uh, but anyway this is, these are the changes guys thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one